Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome to Let's Build a Mansion, sort of season two. We're going to be calling it Let's Build a Tudor Mansion. We are on the same world of the mansion that we've just completed. If you didn't see last episode, I recommend you do because we talk about what we're going to be doing in this sort of season of Let's Build a Mansion. We also talk about why we're not doing certain seasons in that episode and you get to see a cool little uh, music thing of shots of the house and stuff. Looks pretty cool. It's a really nice way to send that series off with a bit of a bang, a bit of a celebration. So, this mansion... Although it's still a house and it's still going to be a big house, it's going to be very, very different. We're going to be have to we're going to have to use very different blocks and very different techniques. This house was is built out of very much clay-ish materials, you know. In fact, the whole of the interior is mostly clay. The walls are clay, very sort of modern. Okay, Mo but not like when you think of modern houses, you think of very white and black and big glass doors. This is a modern mansion. You don't get very many mansions that have uh, that sort of white square box feel. You know, modern mansions are just big, big buildings. With this one being a Tudor mansion, we're going to have to go for the woods, mostly the darker woods. We're going to have to think about lighting a lot more on the inside and the exterior. We're going to have to think a little bit more into depth of fireplaces because obviously Tudor houses are going to have a lot of fireplaces and uh, the roof design. We're going to have to think of exactly how tall and how big the windows have to be because it's a completely different style of building to that one. And I'm looking at really, I'm really, really excited for it. So, obviously, on this series, we use the default vanilla texture pack so we have no weird uh, blocks that to choose from we we know exactly what we're sort of looking for we're gonna need some dark woods and I think spruce wood and dark oak these are my two favorite woods in the game I love spruce for the pure color of the beam of, of the log and I like oak uh, uh, sorry dark oak because it's a little bit more washed out it's a little bit gray it's like you sort of sing at night time do you know what i mean like it's a little bit darker in dusk same with the planks my favorite planks are dark okay it might even be my favorite block in the game at the moment like like square block uh, I, I really like that block so we also need being tudor we need some white now we can use either snow which does not melt everybody always says don't use snow it melts it doesn't melt uh, snow slabs do and ice belts snow doesn't or we can use white wool because obviously a Tudor mansion has a very sort of brown dark brown and white sort of contrast on the upper level of Tudor buildings houses mansions whatever in general for the bottom floor the bottom floor is usually made out of either two blocks it's either made out of brick or Stone. Now, there's many different stones that we can use. Cobblestone is a good one, and so is andesite. Now that we have andesite, that could be used very, very well. And um, stone brick, which probably is actually my least favorite choice out of those four. I don't think I'm going to like that for the bottom floor. It looks a little bit too neat. Tudor mansions aren't sort of... They're really... They look totally beautiful, but they're a little bit rustic. They're not quite precisionly engineered for stone bricks. Normal bricks, definitely, because you get different sized bricks, don't you? Not, no two bricks are exactly the same. Okay, um, let's also think of a little bit of detail blocks. Whenever you're building a new house, by the way, guys, or building anything, always put down a little bit of a color palette. It's a really good tactic. Uh, but for details, obviously, we want some um, fences. So I'm going to put like two of those down like that as a little bit of a, a detail block. You can sort of line it up and see what it'll look like against certain blocks. You can see, yeah, that goes well against the white and it goes well against the logs. So you can sort of see what houses are sort of going to look like after it. But there's one thing missing and that's a little bit of an accent block. A, a block that makes everything else stand out. And I think the best block for that is going to be a sandstone combination of normal sandstone and sandstone stairs. Maybe even some sandstone slabs in there. So we'll put this on the front as they're 
sort of accent or detail blocks. These ones are more solid blocks. And then we've got the uh, roof. So we'll put the roof blocks on the front here. I think we're going to go a combination of dark oak. Dark oak, dark oak, and dark oak. And let's have a look in the stairs. Cobblestone, I think, is the one. So in cobblestone. So we've got our roof, we've got our detail, and we've got our potential main blocks. But we now need to cut these main blocks down into a smaller selection. We've got too many. So what do we like better, snow or wool? I think I like snow better. It's more clean. It's got a cleaner texture. And I think it looks better when you combine more of them together as well. We didn't like the stone bricks. We've got cobblestone on the, on the roof. So I think I might get rid of that. And you know what? I think I'm going to keep both of these and we'll actually split up sections of the bottom floor between brick areas and andesite areas. So let's move this over and collect them all together. Well, in fact, I can just do that, can't I? There we go. We've now got our color palette. Most of the blocks in this house are going to be used from those blocks. I'm going to put a slab down there as well, like that. Most of them are going to be made out of that block, okay? And obviously we've got... Uh, Hold on. Slabs and stairs. Oops. Slabs and stairs of the dark oak variety in the main house as well. Well, I suppose they should go on this one, shouldn't they? Being more detail blocks. Perfect. Okay, so let's try and think of a little bit of a shape this episode if we can. Uh, I think it would be nice to have the entrance lined up somewhat with the entrance of our other mansion. So this is the center area, the center line to our our gate there um yeah no that'd be fine so we want to come back a little bit further maybe to here is that a good distance away from the road i think i like that i don't want a big front garden like i have on this one i want a little bit more of a enclosed front garden a little bit more of a smaller front garden and then have a squared off back. I think I have an idea for the back garden. In fact, I might want to bring that a little bit close to the road. Yeah, because this is going to probably be the most forward part of the building anyway. We want a nice three wide doorway lined up with the center. And then probably something like this as a, an entrance area. Maybe one block wider. Hmm. 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 What happens if I went one block wider? Something like that. And then let's try and think about this accent, these sandstone accent blocks that we were saying about. Do I want a curved front door on this one? I think that sounds pretty nice. So we shall have... Uh, is this the good height or should we go one block higher up? Mm, let's try one block higher up. I don't want to feel claustrophobic when entering it. You want to have a sort of still a grand feel to it. But is that too big? Well, we can shrink it down a little bit with that. I like that. That's actually a really nice shape as well. Now, we could also do a door that's open if we wanted. We could have... Um, our full blocks. Uh, I think we're going to do it in spruce though, not in dark oak. So it's a little tiny bit lighter than other parts of the house. So we could do something like this. We want it to be about three blocks wide. For the door handle, I'm actually going to do an upside down stair like that. And then have... Do I like that? I I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. No, I don't think I like that. I liked it in my head. It's too thick though. If we could have a thinner door, then yes. But I like I think that's good. So let's have a quick think about the accent block, the sandstone that's gonna stand out mostly against this brickish section and the andesite sections, but mostly the bricks, I think. 
uh, we could have something like uh, it's a shame we don't have sandstone uh, walls like cobblestone walls but in sandstone that could look pretty nice I don't want to worry about the creeper face chiseled ones and stuff I don't want to do that sort of detail this is just to sort of make it really pop out a little bit so let's try something like that and this is so fun starting a new project like this really so much to think about and and and, and work out colors and choices and all sorts that one oops that one that one and that one i like that but i think it'd also be better if we doubled this up on the other side like that and Ooh. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. That That's really nice. Now, we don't want to do too much of this sandstone stuff. We only want to sort of touch on it here and there, not, not go overkill with it. Okay, let's go to a bit of a blueprint then. Let's try and think about the shape of this house. I probably want to come back another block on this brick section. And then, what about shape? What sort of shape? I think I want to go with an L shape for this one this mansion was a very much a straight line this one I want to be in an L shape and I think I want to go more to the right than to the left so we'll have a little a little section off the left a larger section off the right sounds good so let's take away the brick now and go with an andesite sort of block here this is gonna have some windows in how big do we want the windows? We want something like like that. And I think I want this an even number, which is what it would be like this. So we've got two blocks and then a two wide window, one block, a two wide window, one block, a two wide window, and then two blocks, giving us an even number. Do I like that sound? Hmm. How many blocks is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 12 blocks. Sounds pretty good. No, I think I like that. I think I like that. So we probably want these three blocks high. I think that's a sort of universal 2 by 3 windows are very grand in Minecraft. Now, do we like the mix of andesite and brick together? Obviously, you guys are going to be going, no, I hate it. Because you always like that at first. And then you wait a few episodes. And then you're like, AJ, you actually made a good choice there. I agree with you now. And it's like, thank you. <laughs> I know what you're like. I know what you're like. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So we'll mirror this on the other side. But this side is also going to then continue on further. We want a first window. Oops, not there. And our second window and our third window but yeah this is going to go on even further probably swap back to uh, brick again in fact and we'll sort of alternate between brick and andesite uh do i want it to come out or do i want it to go in i think i want it to go in so we'll have that one and then maybe brick here like this i think that's good yeah, think th the sort of house design that I'm trying to go for here, uh, If I I've talked about this a lot recently, actually, but if you've ever played a Lara Croft game, a Tomb Raider game, think about Lara's Mansion, that sort of style. Do I want... Th I think I want four windows here. I just, I'm just feeling four windows. Very, it's very strange for me to work with even numbers. Uh, we've got an odd number in the middle because that's going to be very important later on when it comes to doing the roof. But the even numbers could work out even better for these sections of the roof. I'm starting to think a little bit ahead. I like that. I like that look. And then I think we'll probably want to come down this way now. Um, Probably not too far let's drop Oop, I, I burped i'm sorry i'm gonna put in one two three four five six blocks one two three four five six. yes yeah, six blocks and then i'm gonna put another window in 
and then I'm going to come back out this way, but only slightly. It's just going to be a little bit of a, a sticky out area, maybe by three blocks. Sounds pretty good. And then we'll have another set of windows, probably in the same design as that one. So all of the andesite sections are going to be like that. I think that's... We're already thinking about certain patterns and certain uniformalities throughout the mansion. It's going to really help us out if we can get that cracked down earlier on. So any time that we have an andesite section, we do that. Three windows, two wide by three high, starting with two blocks and then one block between each window. Okay? Sounds pretty good. Now I want this to go on even further because I said we wanted an L shape. But I think it's now time to come over to this section and switch to the brick. Because our, our andesite sections are always like this. Oh, but we want to come down by one block. Is it? Yeah, one block. And then go to a brick, but not come out this way too far. Otherwise, we're going to end up mirroring what we've got on the other side. And I don't want a symmetrical house. So I think what we're going to do is come out like this many. Just like a little tiny section here. And then go to, I, I'm thinking about fireplaces now, chimneys in fact, not fireplaces, I'm thinking about chimney locations. I think I want a chimney here, right, right where this is. Let's just have this up to this same height. What block would we make the chimney out of? Andesite? No, it'll blend in with the roof. No, it needs to be made out of brick. And I think this will be fine. Although at the moment, on the level that we're currently on, the brick is blending into brick. But we've got to remember on this second floor, because it's probably going to be a three-story building if we include the attic as a story, because um, the attic will probably have some windows in it in some spots. Um, it's going to be uh, brown and white, so that means the chimney will then stand out a lot. And we can extend this, make this a little bit bigger, more interesting to look at, like like this. But we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. I think I might even want to do three blocks wide, which is very, very strange for me. I usually stay with two blocks wide on my, uh, on my chimneys. But I think that could look really good. Yeah, I like that. Big, big chimneys, big, big fireplaces. Beautiful. How are we doing for time? We're not... I haven't got too much long left, in fact. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's now copy this down here. So we have a little sunk away area for, or, you know, yeah, sunk in area for our... Uh, hmm. Oops. I see. Uh, for our fireplace. It's going to be a really nice design, I think take this away how excited are you guys about a new mansion let me know in the comment section below show your love because uh, these do take a lot of work they're not easy to do uh, but I, I thoroughly enjoy building them uh, with you guys even more so when you love it as much as the last mansion I hope you guys enjoy this one as much as you did the last one it'll obviously take us uh, a few episodes to get moving to get rolling and get you know get the, the train the train going um, but hopefully it won't take too long for us to do that. Okay, I like that. Let's now wrap this around and have another brick section. How are we looking? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I actually really like that. This might be calling for a chimney, but not in line. So what I might do is actually remove this window entirely. And put the chimney in here. We don't need windows on every wall. We don't want to overdo it with windows. We might have too many windows in here. As it is, I think we'll reduce the amount of windows on the sides. And then have a few more windows on the back. That's good though. That's two, off, two chimneys off centre. I think I want either three or four chimneys. Probably three. Three sounds like a really good number for us. And I think this is a good width of the building here. So, for this section, I'm going to do another four window part. I'm going to copy this part and do it over here. So, we have one, two, 
three, four. Yeah, that's four windows in there. And then... I probably want to do another and a side one. If we're doing this alternating pattern, it makes sense. Oops. Like this. This is a lot of progress for a first episode. <laughs> but we have only just finished our first man or, or our other mansion. So I suppose we're still in the sort of mind frame for it. Um, that is sort of all we've got time for though this episode. It's a huge amount of progress. We want to extend it that way now to get that L shape. And then we'll get left with a sort of square section for a back garden. It'll be really, really nice I think. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more then feel free to subscribe and hit that like button because i really do appreciate it come back for the next episode because we're going to get the blueprint done and maybe maybe even start on the second story this is going to be a fast build i feel it see you in the next episode guys